Zoom you in there. Okay. Fire and a hole. Yeah. Fire and a hole. Yeah. Well, Mr. Randy, we've had a very wet start to your safari. I know the entire province here in South Africa is very grateful for all the rain. It's your first trip out here with us. Uh, we've got a lot of targets, a lot of opportunity that's going to be available here. So the rut is on and there's a lot of game moving. So you can see it's uh, another little volley of rain shower coming behind us. And it's been like this pretty much all day and it's um, forecast to get better. So okay. we're yeah. going to have a fantastic week ahead. Gunshot great this morning and yeah, hit the rut perfectly. Got so got my uh, journaling going and, and uh, let's see where it takes us. 100 yes, percent, sir. I look forward to it. Right. Mr. Randy, we're just going to walk slowly all the way up this path um, and look across this little draw yeah. uh, where we saw some of those impalas. More of a thick mist than rain as such, but uh, yeah. we'll I'm sure the animals will stay out feeding. It's not really that cold yet. And pilot just across the draw, a nice old ram. In the front of that chest, sir. Take him in the front of the chest. Down. Down, sir. <laughs> no, your first animal of the trip down in beautiful conditions, nice cool rain. It's a beautiful impala ram. And then this guy's a classic, the perfect parallel horns, a square shape. Um, and when he was looking at us with his ears alert, his horns kind of came towards the tip of the ear. So just, just a beautiful good. animal. So and a, a wonderful one to start our trip together with. Good job, good. sir. So obviously our first morning without rain, so it's beautiful, it's pretty chilly and crisp, but the sun is coming out and I think the game is going to be very active today. So let's put a spotting scope on these sable and just see if there's anything there worth going after. I think the one my scope is on now is the pick of the litter, bottom left, yeah. Yeah, he's in the scope right now if you want to have a look at him. I think I do see a bit of a body down in that bit of thicket. That could be the one that we were um, eyeing out from the top. So let's just go a little further forward. We've closed the distance beautifully at about 300 yards now. That's the one we've been looking at there. He's turning now. Yeah. Yeah, that ball. It looks like he'll feel across into that next opening. Typically they would kind of take breaks from eating and pick and look around, pick their head up, chew their cud. Literally for 45 minutes straight, they've pretty much hardly picked their head up off the ground. Having had two days of rain and that cold wind, having a break in the weather now, they're trying to catch up on their food requirement. But uh, uh, this bull, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. He has not picked his head up once. So, we will eventually get our gap, but they are clearly very hungry after all the rain we've had in the cold weather. So Randy, we saw that sable up there, and now we just saw this Nyala bull that we couldn't get on. He just beat us walking in this thicket. But I think what we must do is move around to that side and uh, we'll obviously keep an eye open for that sable bull and we can glass back nicely from that side to where this Nyala walked to. It's a really a great Nyala. It's worth uh, trying to get onto him again. 
That yellow bull's coming out across the canyon, very relaxed, feeding by itself. It's broadside currently, I can see his whole back and head, and it's there are quite a few big openings there, so it looks like we definitely am gonna get a chance here at this yellow. We're just gonna see if we lay down right here, um, if we can see him, otherwise we may just move down a bit. Do you see him? Okay, take your time, squeeze that shot off. In the crease of the shoulder right there. Perfect. Hit him very hard. We're just watching him, so he dropped right there. He reared up spectacularly, and he's right there kicking. And I heard a very solid impact, the likes of hitting bone. Serenio put, put you through a lot of waiting and patience here, but that is classic. Yeah, the dog's got it. That's it. Uh, he took a tumble. Yeah, he saw that big flip. He hit some skin off over here. In terms of Nyala quality, he's a spectacular bull, sir. To see that long ivories like that, yeah. just the classic bell shape and fantastic length on him and a very old bull too. So uh, this is one that you can be proud of. And yeah, yeah. Uh, really spectacular Nyala bull, sir. Well, the sun is bright on the plains. I thought we'd come up here first. You can see behind it's still dark in the canyon, so we'll hunt up on the plains a bit while we give the sunlight a chance to inch down those slopes and lighten it up, and when maybe we'll find something up here. We have seen a lot of wildebeest this morning already, a few harder beast, a couple of buck in the distance. So for now, let's just take a walk, sir. Here's your rifle, and we'll head into the wind here and see if we can get onto a wildebeest or a buck or something. And we're in luck here because it's actually a bachelor herd of bulls. There's also a um, blessed buck ram in front of them, which I'm going to have another look at. It makes a bit of a rise in front of us. I just want to look to our right here if we can lie down next to this bush because we don't have any more cover to work with. The furthest left in that back line is a very old bull with nice big bosses on him. So new bulls that joined this bachelor group that they obviously aren't familiar with. We'll see them chase each other around a little now and they'll settle again. He's walking right, he's walking past the other now. Okay, take your rifle off safe. Okay, you put on that front shoulder right there now. You hit him. I'm watching him. Okay, he's standing toward the right of the group. I'll just have to help you identify him. Ah, uh, he's just fallen over. <laughs> if it was massive bosses we were after, that is what we got. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool this morning. We got into a big group with a number of shooter bulls. And then when I saw this one walking in the sunlight, I could just see this very unusually deep cracked bosses. And that's just from really old age. And to get one with bosses this big, um, that's unusual. But check out this moustache here. See that? Yeah. It's like a mohawk down his face and a beard down the back. Uh -huh. Fresh scars, check out that cut there. So 
yeah, they are aggressive and those horns, they used to hook each other. Good job, Mr. Man. All right. Awesome animal. Thank so, you, thank you. Pleasure. Yeah, it's a black wildebeest and harder beast in front of us. Just see, it looks like quite a nice harder beast bull. Let's cut right. Just hunker down, bro, break our shape. Let's take the one on the right. We are dialed for that. You just see that black shoulder patch. You hit him, take your time and put it on that black shoulder patch. Yes, good. That hit him good. I saw him drop his head immediately. We're watching him. Ah, he's gonna go down. Going down, sir. Yeah, and he's done. <laughs> it's a bit tough setup here, but we made it work for us, partner. Good job, sir. Right. Randy, this is a, what's the word you like of mine? Proper. Proper red harder beast. Red harder beast. Proper bull. An unbelievable length, beautiful shape. He kicks out at the top there. Just beautiful. Wow. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Thick neck on him. Big bodied. Just a magnificent animal. Good job, sir. Thanks so much. Fifty fifty because we're gonna have to walk left, go around below the bench, come through that brush where they can't see us and then appear two fifty below them. We've, we've managed to come already quite a bit closer. You can just see them above the brush line on that hill. It's a good good situation for us. We've got the wind strong in our face and a lot of tall trees here. So we Okay, we're closing the distance nicely, we're in the three hundreds now. And we're going to just lean over a little bit just to break our shape and walk to this next shiny bush here. It's just out of our sight there. We got to just skirt left around this cluster of trees. But we're well within range now. The last range I took there, Randy, was 280, but yeah, it'll be 250 odd. Wait, he's walked away now. We hope feeling that he turns, so he's number three. He's the one walking, so he's the furthest right of the zebra we can see. He's walking to above the other two now. You can see on the skyline that zebra's head. He's dead. Yeah, his females are just to our right behind this tree at 200 yards, so him going up to investigate the world gave us an opportunity to close in another like 80 yards, so at the moment, when he comes back off there, um, he should come straight over this bench in front of us and probably be 200 to 220. There he's coming back now, you can see his head. Mm -hmm. His frontal quarter, you can see the center of his chest come just left of center. Okay. Squeeze it in there. Absolutely perfect, Mr. Randy. He won't be need for a follow-up shot with placement like that. <laughs> well, Mr. Andy, beautiful monster zebra stallion, just big body on him, beautiful thick neck. But what a beautiful setting to hunt a zebra this morning. We were at the end of this kind of peninsula running here. You see, we've busted a herd of eland going out here, some cows and calves going around the bend here, 500 yards behind us. But, uh, Spectacular position and backdrop to be hunting zebra this morning. Sir. Beautiful day for it. Good job, sir. Awesome animal and great shooting. Randy, there's a sable down here. There's a sable down there, you see it? Oh, yeah. Gonna have a quick look at him. We've just walked to the edge here, and first thing we see is a sable. Can you 
you see his shoulder there? Yeah. Okay, put another one in. That down. Mr. Randy, I know that was an important one for you. And I tell you what, it's a magnificent sample bull, sir. Yeah, After chasing him around yesterday quite a bit higher on the hills and the thick stuff, it was uh, very fortunate to find him there. And yeah, the moment he stood up, you hammered him. Good animal. I love it. And where we took that follow-up shot, we could just see it through this undergrowth. Now you can see a strong track blood and there you have it sir magnificent sable ball magnificent Randy it's come down this side sir wow this is awesome spectacular oh, super big symmetrical arcs going right over and um, the just super wide it's what we saw and loved about this bull from the beginning it's just unusually wide so that is something that anyone would be super proud to put on their name. wall. Early morning here, and as we hoped, we came here, sheltered corner, looking for bushwhack. And we've seen the first bushwhack females coming out that use or sunning themselves. Oh, Randy? Yeah. You'd come down about two inches. There's that white stripe on his neck. Yeah. That's the height we want to be at. But we want him just to straighten his head because about where his nose is right now, okay. that's the line on the shoulder we want to be. So when he straightens his neck, your crosshairs will essentially be just underneath where his nose is now. On that shoulder. Take him. <laughs> Done. Absolutely spot on, Mr. Randy. I'm watching him. You can still see him stumbling. I saw the impact on the shoulder, sir. So he ain't going anywhere. Yep, he is down, Randy. Right. <laughs> Tell you what, Mr. Randy, it's a hell of a beautiful bushwhack, sir. We're going to wait here while MK walks right around because from experience we know if we all go there you'll never find that bush back. I mean it is really steep over there so we'll just make sure we can mark the spot pretty well. well I said to MK just take the dog with. She just gets excited when she finds the animal so Peppers yapping away there. Okay. Okay, okay, forget. <laughs> Randy as the real hero of the morning. We did the easy job. He has the man with the real hard work. Okay. Oh yeah, we made it. We made it. Good job, MK. So Randy, I'm just looking at this bull here. He's definitely a mature bull, but his horns aren't overly thick. 
and he's a couple inches short from what we're kind of looking for. When he picks his head up like that, I can see nicely there. A little bit thin on the horn base, and length is just average. So we'll keep looking and going along, see what else we can find. So Mr. Randy, we've come behind the hillside. Wind is blowing over from where we saw that run toward us. So it's pretty stout wind. We're going to just walk straight into the wind over. I did see a couple big bushes that we can use. You can see like a bush over there and a smaller one here. We'll line ourselves up with a bush and just keep walking over slowly. Rise here, he's kind of over the rise from us. We're just going to cut this way slowly together um, while he's facing away from us, like he is now. And then, um, just got to go maybe another 20 yards or so. Just zoom in there, go up that front leg, middle of the shoulder. Done. Done, done, he'll go down right there. He's just watching this, he's just going over that edge. Crikey, this sounds harsh here. Watching him. I've hit him perfect. They are very big body animals. It's just going over the edge there. Down. Just saw the horns flop. <laughs> the plan was to not make you shoot directly into the setting sun, but once he saw us, he actually started walking toward us to inspect what was going on here. But we were in the grass and he was just over that edge. I figured, just put the sticks up, stand up and take the shot before he comes any closer and maybe decides this is not part of his afternoon plan and bolts off. So that is a very old, very thick horned, magnificent roan bull. Wow, Randy, it's a proper, proper roan and a proper old animal. My goodness gracious. I mean, check guys worn this tip down and the wear on there. Old, old bull. Exceptional length. What a magnificent run. Check the size of its skull. Remember I was telling you about that block head, sir? Yeah. You can see it there, that big blocky head of his. Check out the old scars from fighting and stuff. Just magnificent. Good job, sir. All right. I know you wanted one of these to match that awesome sable we took. And this is a, a worthy companion for that, that sable bull we got, Absolutely. sir. Awesome animal, sir. Good job. Um, we're on the plains now. Obviously the brush species, all your kudu, waterbuck, those things will be in the thick stuff getting out this weather. But uh, some of these open plains herd animals will definitely be out. So it's going to take a walk down this kind of line of thicket and keep looking up on the hills. So maybe we'll find something up on the hill that we can pursue. Now there's a rainstorm coming our way and I've just seen some kudu cows. And then here in front of us is a bull here feeding. Beautiful bull. This image is not too clear with it looking into the dark over there. And he's now disappearing, but he's got long white ivory tips. Beautifully symmetrical bull, long white ivory tips. Uh, so he's on that hillside? Yes, Randy. So right over here, we get this yellow grass. He's just over the edge there. I think we follow this line in front of us to that tall tree is get a little bit of height. Hopefully we can see him from there because from where roughly where he is about 600 from us now We'll go to there and hopefully we should be able to see him and get a shot over there Correct. That biggest green tree with the lighter leaves yeah. He may come all the way out right and we catch him over there at the gap Will he be above the brush? Yes, yeah, I could see his head We'll have to just see what happens. Okay, you stay there, that's where he's gonna come. There he's with the cow. So you just watch that area, it's 150 yards. Okay, 
he's gonna walk into the gap. There he's coming. Okay, can you see him? Perfect shot, my man. Hit in front of those shoulder points of both shoulders. Crikey, we stood here in torrential downpour. <laughs> Two big volleys of rain. And this bull almost gave us a slip, but weathering the storm of water was worth it. <laughs> Yeah, look at the tank neck on this bull. I tell you what, we worked for this one. Beautiful wide bull, heavy horn. You can see he's been rubbing the mud just before we got him, because when I saw him earlier, I could see these white ivory tips covered his horns in mud. Look at the neck on him, pitch black face. We struck out today between very miserable weather. We found this beautiful wide, huge bodied bull following cows around. So. It is a spectacular setting now that the rain's cleared up. You can just see these rolling hills and the beautiful sky. So, good job, sir. Awesome animal, my friend. Well, Randy, unexpected rain today. I've been looking without much success for water back. But across the canyon, yeah, in the distance over there, about maybe 1,500 yards, there is a bull by himself. From distance, he looks like he's got those white ivory-colored horns and a thick neck, so I think it's worth us going closer and having a look. And Randy, this bull's a little bit um, soft on the bases, just a little bit. He's a beautiful bull, but he's still just needs to thicken out in the body a bit and his bases are slightly soft, slightly soft bases on the horns. Now he wants to walk around to there and just check there's a hidden corner there we can't see. We can't see if they've gone past there. If they have gone past there then we can actually ride to that point and walk over and look for them in here. That's the younger bull that's there, broadside left, right in the trees is where that other bull was. It's not going to be an opportunity to get prone here. I'm going to have to sit you down, use the clamp. We, we couldn't close your birthday present on the last minutes, but we'd rather, we've got time, we'd rather leave and be right there. Absolutely. And we'll come out and still get after a good water buck at some point. So, yeah. but a beautiful day out now. The rain has cleared and we got our last bit of the safaris completely clear. So definitely got time to still get onto a good water buck mm -hmm. and a lot of fun to still be had. So. scenery change you know, as we come toward the end of our safari we've come up to a cattle ranch up in the mountains it's just spectacular beautiful change of scenery lechway and waterbuck 
Um, who knows what else we might find, but yeah, but it's off. So we'll just walk slowly into the wind here. Wind's nice in our face. We walk slowly into the wind over the edge here. Randy, you can see the cows below us. Yes. In the trees to the left, there is a bull that looks like a mature bull following another cow. There is in the open now. Um, it's a really nice looking bull, good length, everything, but he's actually still a little bit young. Look carefully his bases, he's still got a bit of white around the bases. He's actually still got that bottom two rings on his horn are still what we term soft. Yeah. Nice water of a bull from a great distance. We had him in the scope. There's this big bench in front of us here. It's a step in the mountain. Get over this bench and I'm hoping that from on top of this bench we can maybe even see him. But we may have to keep going further. We'll take it slower than we'll Try spotting from there and see if maybe we can get a shot from there or do we need to go closer? We've made it up to within a shootable range. We're still just hanging off this bench. That water bucks fast asleep there. Beautiful, beautiful old bull. Massive body on him. His horns are nice and thick and hard down to the base. And he's by himself there, so it's a perfect situation for us. I'm ranging about 320 currently. Um, we'll just sit here, he doesn't know we uh, sit down, catch your breath and we just get a place we can lie uh, prone here. We'll get set up so long but we've got all the time in the world. Let's try to get as steady as you possibly can. Okay. Okay, wait for him to turn, he will turn. You just stay on him. When he stands, gonna take him, okay, on that shoulder, sir. On the shoulder, take him now. Reload. He's running left, we definitely connected. Just watching him. Take him again. Take him in the crease. Hey, no, you got him, sir. You got him. <laughs> Good job, partner. Good job. No, I tell you what, the altitude and everything up here makes shooting a bit more difficult. But both of those shots of yours were on the money there, sir. So that, my friend, is what we were after. White ivory horns, solid down to the bases, old bull, huge body, just a magnificent specimen, sir. Just a classic sweep on him. Um, beautiful, beautiful bull. I tell you what, there was no doubt in any of our minds when we spotted this bull from that mountain back there in the scope, zoomed right in and said, that definitely looks like a bull worth going after. First shot, he sucked it up well. Um, I could see he was hit, he jumped up like a decent shot. He ran left and luckily you were able to get on him again and just for insurance, put another shot in and I saw on the phone scope, um, the clear vapor trail behind the shoulder. He just went into the thick stuff here, and um, yeah, it's just a magnificent bull in a magnificent setting today. So, Thank congratulations. Thank you very much for putting me on this guy. Absolute pleasure, my friend. An absolute pleasure. Check that out. Randy, from up here we're overlooking this whole river system. Wind's very strong in our face, but it's almost directly in our face. Very slight cross component. But that ledge where bulls down there with cows. So let's find a place to set up here. We're gonna get a shot from up here. Wind is coming from, uh, from 1 o'clock, Randy. So I will tell you to, if he steps left, we're going to put it just, just on the crease of the shoulder. Squeeze it in there. Perfect, my man. 
Perfect. Good job, Randy. Good job, sir. Yeah, that was a, a very stout wind. However, however, the wind is at about one o'clock from us, so the value of that wind is, is very small. And that's why we held, when he stood like that, we held on the crease. We probably drifted just an inch, inch and a half, probably. I see the cows running down the river here. We'll just check that he isn't with them, but that impact was definitely perfect. And where he disappeared into that just thick, tall acacia and willow trees along the river there, I saw no further movement. And the impact from here looked amazingly perfect. So yeah, good. I think we got our ledge down. Yeah. World class, sir. That, my friend, is what we're after. Beautiful old lechwe bull. Beautiful sweep, good width on him, blunt, thick horn tips, and just, in my opinion, one of the most striking, spectacular animal species we've got on this side of the pond. Just really magnificent with this black shoulder patch, white in front of his chest, and this deep rufous red coloration extending across his back. Yeah, it's just one of my absolute favorites, sir. So, congratulations, sir. It's a really awesome animal. Thank you very much. It's really special to be able to end a safari with a day like we've had today in the mountains, harvesting a magnificent old waterbuck pool this morning, and then to end our safari off with such a magnificent lecture, just an ancient animal and just a beautiful animal in a beautiful setting. So, it's been an absolute pleasure, my friend, and we've harvested some wonderful animals, some great shots, and it's just been an all-round epic safari. It has been wonderful and it just makes you want to come back, you know, <laughs> well, and uh, beautiful, beautiful. Good job, sir. It's been my pleasure. All right. Good Safe job. travels home. Thank you.